consensus is we're going to see a pause today. I think the questions are, is it a hawkish pause? Is it a dovish pause? And then what about December? What do you see coming ahead? Yeah, not expecting any fireworks in terms of the decision today. It is very likely going to be that rates are unchanged. Um, thinking it could be a, a slightly hawkish pause, though. Um, you know, we have had some data since we we had a shift in Fed rhetoric a couple weeks ago that it was more dovish and led us to think we're not going to get a hike today. Since then, we have had some pretty strong economic data, inflation that you know really doesn't look like it's headed consistently back to two percent just yet. Yeah, we have seen some pretty strong economic data. GDP came in stronger than expected. Um, we've had some, you know, other issues, not issues, but other reports that are probably giving traders some issues. <laughs> They're kind of worried about the Fed increasing rates. What do you expect to hear from Jay Powell today? I remember when he spoke at the New York Economic Club, he spoke about perhaps rates are doing the Fed's job for them. Then he also said that he still believed that we could see that, quote unquote, soft landing. What do you expect to hear in this news conference today? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I think we've had this shift in rhetoric talking about the, the move in yields and how that's tightening financial conditions. And that does some of the, the work of a rate hike for the Fed. Um, but since that shift, we've had some very strong data and we've had some Fed officials, Powell included, kind of shifting back towards you know, reminding us that ultimately they are data dependent. Um, I think our forecast, you know, the way we see the data playing out, the Fed can stay on hold and we're not penciling in another hike in December. Uh, but it is going to be, I think, very data dependent, especially on the inflation data. Yeah, we kind of talked about this yesterday. PCE, two CPIs before that December decision. You said you're not penciling in a hike in December. Does that mean that we're going to see the Fed stop its rate hiking campaign and we're possibly, possibly on the path <laughs> to cuts? Yeah, this is our, you know, we're, we're thinking we're at the terminal level now already. Um, but that, that chance of a hike is is still on the table. Um, certainly today's meeting, there won't be an updated dot plot. There's not, you know, a, a clear opportunity for the Fed to tell us if they think, you know, further hikes or not. Um, so they will maintain that optionality up until December. And that's a possibility. But base case is that this we've seen the last hike already. Um, and then we would be looking for cuts as we're getting into next year, but a long, a long way from now. One other question I want to ask you about. We have that Treasury auction today. Normally not much of an event today, a really big event. Um, the reaction we see to that auction, does that actually impact the Fed? Is that something they pay attention to? Yeah, I mean, supply concerns, deficit concerns, I think absolutely has been one factor why we've seen longer end yields moving higher. And the Fed has told us that, you know, reaction to, to longer end yields moving higher is, is why we're not getting potentially another hike. Um, so it definitely does matter that that might be the more exciting event today. <laughs>